Jack Perlman from the Inbetweeners, and I play Jay Carter. Yes, uh, I play Simon Cooper and the Inbetweeners. Will McKenzie's journey on the show Inbetweeners is basically one of trying to find acceptance. He gets there in the first episode and meets that these three guys are the only ones that will hang out with him. And throughout, realizes that these guys, as strange and as different as they may be, might end up being the best friends that he could possibly have. Jay's kind of a, he's a liar. He talks a very big talk, but does not walk a walk at all. Uh, he's a good, he's a good-hearted guy, but he uh, he feels like he can't fit in unless he lies a lot. So it gets in the way of uh, his person and his friends. He's a hopeless romantic. He's also very, very gullible, uh, which uh, is, is bad for him and really, really good for his friends. Which uh, you know you, you'll find out. You know that we get into a, a lot of. Uh, situations, especially me, because they get me to do a lot of crazy things. Uh, uh, I'll say this. My favorite one is, I get my penis stuck in something. <laughs> if that's, uh, if that's fair. That, ep that episode is like one of my favorite ones. That, did that feel risky for you, or was that safe? Oh, very risky. Very scary. Uh, to know that someone's actually done it is even scarier. You know, there is a, a scene later, I won't say which episode, but later down the season where Will starts to dance. And that may be one of the funnest, funniest moments of the season for me personally, just to explore how would Will McKenzie dance, being such a straight button-up guy. Uh, you'll have to see to find out. Yeah. This year, it's very awkward for Jay, I would say. It, it, it starts terrible and ends worse. <laughs> but he keeps trying. Yeah, can't, can't stop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think that's, that's, that's part of the high school experience, is that there are girls that get in front of him. And I think even the idea of friendship is not available. It has to be that that's the girl for me. No matter how out of his league they are, he always has to try and always fail. So endearing because for me in high school, that's all that happened was failure. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of good things between uh, Simon and Carly happened this, this the first season. So um, probably the stuff between Simon and Carly. I like that. Keep an eye out for all the romance. Yeah, all the romance. A lot of romance and uh, yes, attempts at romance. Yeah, those are the best. That's gonna watch the between is gonna really relate to my character because he moves from a private school to a public school. That's what I did. Right. Uh, it is so hard to find a group of friends, a core group of friends that you trust. And once you do, it's just loosening up from there and realizing that the disagreements that you have with these people are the best things possible. So, you know, I think it's really relatable in every sense of the word. Every single struggle that these guys go through, any one of them, is such a universal experience in high school. A lot of connectivity between episodes and just, you know, as much as it's episodic, it's, it's very much like an entire season arc, and we have incredible directors who are doing stuff that, you know, I can only dream of working with them again, and an incredible cast. I would say look forward to one of the best seasons of television on MTV ever. Um, you know, it's just uh, about these four kids trying to walk through high school together on each other and uh, you know it's a great journey that I think a lot of people can relate to you know a lot of kids in that prevented age trying to figure out their way through high school so it's just us navigating through high school and uh, very very funny